Yoga Land. Today, I'm going to start with Whispers of Lord Ganesha. So we're going to pick a card and get the message for today before I even do any poses or speak about any poses or any philosophy. So with that being said, I'm going to move the cards around, message for today. And today, by the way, is not the day you're going to see this video, but for me, today is Saturday. Saturday, and the card I've chosen is Innocence, number 43, Innocence. Innocence, the simplest gestures of love and respect can prevail over even the toughest of hearts. So in this card, the lightness of the aura around Ganesh betrays innocence. By being soft and still, you give the universe the opportunity to assist you in creating your desires. Be willing to release any cynicism. Have you noticed yourself becoming increasingly critical over time? Have you... Anyway, as you gather more experience, sometimes the familiarity of a situation can cause you to lose touch with your innocence. It is only natural to expect similar outcomes if you, as you have had in the past when similar situations present themselves in your life. Don't forget, though, that change and transformation are always possible. You are being offered an opportunity to approach this situation with renewed peace. If you are making changes to your job situation, relationships, or even the direction of your life path, approach this with a sense of exploration and the excited curiosity of a child. Be willing to let go of the preconceived ideas that have developed over time in your mind. Allow your heart to be centered in the place of peace. Every day, call on Ganesha for guidance to renew your mind and refresh your thinking. With Ganesha's assistance, contemplate each situation you encounter. Ask Ganesha to support you. Remember to pray for freedom from fears, worries, and unhealthy obsessions that might control your thoughts and harm your soul. Be accountable for your decisions and their results. Just knowing that you are responsible will assist you to take decisions seriously and with greater consideration. So with what Ganesha just reminded us was that we should let go of the anxiety, the fears, the worry, the cynicism to go towards the happy, the healthy, the relaxed mind, bridging from one side to the other. We can always change with a little bit of work, letting go of the cynicism going from focusing on the negative, going towards the positive. So today, I'm going to show you the bridge pose, Setu Bandhasana. Bridge pose, Setu Bandhasana. You want your feet hip width apart. You wanna to try to have your middle finger scrape your heel, your knees and feet are hip width. Now, we're gonna to show, to, today I would like to show you a little bit of pelvic tilt beforehand. I'm gonna put my hands on my belly to show you so the first warm-up would be to just pull up on the pelvic floor, engage the abdominal muscles and pull up and release. Pull up and release. That may be it for you. The next position is with the arms alongside of you, I would pull up on the pelvic floor, engage the abdominal muscles and lift up and come down. This is another warm-up. This may be it for you here. Pull up, maybe go a little higher and slowly come down one vertebrae at a time. The next way, full bridge, you would pull up on the pelvic floor, engage your abdominal muscles, lift the buttocks to sacrum and the low back off the floor, roll your shoulder blades together like the sides of a book, press the knuckles towards your heels. Now, this is bridge pose. You're getting into your quads, you're getting into your, uh, you're kind of getting into the belly, you're opening up the chest. The shoulders are rolling back. You're not leaning on the neck. You're leaning on the shoulders. I want to show you also, you can also get into one-legged bridge pose by bringing your hands underneath your back or your sacral area and lifting one leg at a time. I 
Kapada Setu Bandhasana. And to release, you roll the shoulders out and slowly come down one vertebrae at a time. Once you're done with the pose, you can hug the thighs into your belly. And you may want to do some Apanasana in and out or just hug the thighs to the belly and go from side to side. FYI guys, Apanasana is when you hold the knees and you just go in out and in, in and out. That's called Apanasana. One other thing I'd like to show you is if you have trouble not splaying your knees, you would put a block between your knees so that your knees don't splay open and your feet don't splay open and you can do the pose with the block between your knees. I release, I come on down, lift my feet, remove the block, hug the thighs into my belly and I roll on up to discuss why I chose bridge pose today after reading Ganesha's little message. Because I feel that we can bridge from the worry, from the anxiety, from the cynicism. And yes, I can be cynical. So to bridge from being cynical to being more polite, to being more loving, friendly, to, to go from the anxious and the worried to the peaceful and relaxed. So in bridge, we open up our chest. We open up the, the, the airways, which allows us to get into the heart chakra, anahata, the heart chakra, anahata. We never want to miss an opportunity to open our hearts. So you're bridging from maybe being closed to open. Thank you for joining me today at Alice in Yoga Land. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Till next time.